thought I'd start recording videos and stuff about my car. It's the middle of winter right now in Washington and it's sunny for the first time in a while. Uh, right now I drive a 2016 Ford Mustang, silver ingot, it's a V6. I only have a few things worked on it, but uh, I'll share with you guys what I've done so far. The first things I have on here is a rear axle back. So you can see a roach right there, kind of hard to see. Axle back or back right there. I got the Mustang deck lid right there too. Not a whole lot of work on the engine. Just the K&N right here, um, adding about 17 horsepower. Not roughly mistaken. Uh, everything's pretty stock. I'm thinking about getting uh, shorty headers to make the sound a little bit better, push a little more horsepower. That's about it. Nothing much on here. So I still have this cable running here to the front. That's where this camera is at, so I can see the front of the bumper. Okay, so right, this is what the front looks like. So you can see a camera on the lower grill. Uh, I attached the V6 badge. I thought it, it looked pretty cool when I first saw it. Um, the RTR grills, well, the fake RTR grills, came with the car like that. I'm thinking about working on it, maybe drilling the holes out, or I might change it to a different set of grills. But overall, I think it looks good right now. But it's not exactly what I want it to look like. The wheels, I did dip them. These are stock. I'm already changing these out. The front has a 20 millimeter spacer on it. So you can see it kind of sits kind of flush from eBay, 30 bucks. Um, works well so far. I put about full miles on it. And in the back, it's the same thing. Dip. I do have the one inch spacer on there as well. One thing I would say to make the same mistake as I did was not treat the tires <laughs> because it's still peeling from the dip. But it doesn't matter to me because I'm buying new new rims and tires. But, but yeah. Also, the other thing I had done on this car was uh, the tint. These are 25s. They're pretty good already. Um, I used to run. 35s when they use that, you used to have an Acura. You see right through, these are 25s. It made sense to do 25s because um, the car itself is already low visible. And I didn't want to make it any worse than that, but. My cabin, uh, I just have a few things here. Flip cover right here, which I thought was pretty cool. Little camera right here. It shows me how far I am in the front. All I do is click this button right here. Then it shows me a feed on the front. So I don't like hit the, the, uh, the curb or anything like that. I was thinking about um, lowering the car. Uh, I just bought a set of 20 inch Robos Proteria or something. It's on its way. Maybe that'll be on the next video. I'm, I'm making these videos just to blog about my experiences. I'm a you know regular car guy. Uh, I'm into cars a lot. But the thing is, I'm not very knowledgeable. Not wealthy or anything. <laughs> I drive a V6. Um, the reason why I blog this too is because you know there's a lot of blogs about GTs and V8. Um, so I'm building this car is for more like a show car. Work on a lot of things. And I thought I'd vlog it, you know. Also for me to look back the history of where my car came from. Also for my son, you know, if, if he ever gets around to watching me, I feel like he would appreciate it. I hope so, please. You know, just gonna post it just so that others can also see what I've gone through with this car and um, what I think about it in the long run. Maybe, maybe this year I'm just gonna do probably like five video things that I've, I've um, hoped to do. Some of the things that I'm looking forward to do with this car: shorty headers, BBK. I've been looking at those for a while. A bunch of forums and watch videos on it, and that seems to be the the, the go-to, increasing uh, the sound on the car. I might also get a throttle body added onto it too. Some of the engine and uh, underbody work I've been thinking about doing. Just wanted to make it look good, you know. I mean, you know, someday I want to get a, a Shelby. Um, GT500, GT350. Some of the things I'm gonna get this summer, I'm gonna get the louvers on the back, GT350 stock spoiler. I see those on like eBay and stuff. On American Muscle, I saw it for like 100 bucks, 120, something like that. So it might be around around my alley a little bit. So the rear valance I also painted. I didn't show that. I hate the stock look. Oh my God, the one piece is just terrible. Um, I do hope to replace that someday, or maybe just add a little bit of diffuser from eBay. So I, do, I do see those couple of like 100 bucks. So if you get a gist of what what I'm trying to tell you is that this build is not gonna be an expensive build. I'm not trying to shell, shell out too much money. Well, maybe. Uh, I did spend 1500 on ribs and tires right now, uh, which is not that bad. You know, usually a set would probably cost 2K. You know, I'm gonna try my best to make it look good, but then at the same time, save a little bit of money. And, uh, oh, and another thing I'm gonna add, stripes, black stripes, but Sometimes I get confused on what color I want to get. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get black ones. Side bottom ones and then the top. What else am I going to do? 
I think that's it. I guess what I'll do is I'll add on the description and links on what I put on my car and then maybe I can help someone, you know, other V6 owner out there. Uh, I think that's my list right now. But yeah, this is the first video. Thank you so much for watching. And overall, I just enjoy working on my car like other enthusiasts out there, you know, buying parts for a bargain. Thank you so much for, I guess, watching if you are. And um, see you on the next vlog. Peace.